to the breach, I want to raise this outrageous subject of government pay boom. Government pay boom. Government workers make 45% more in total compensation than private workers do, even though the government has better job security. 34% higher salaries, 118% more generous health benefits, and 595% better pensions. Union government workers are driving this, and you, the taxpayers, are paying for it. Let's talk to Dan Mitchell of the Cato Institute. Dan, we're a little short of time. But you know what? It's interesting in this Wall Street Journal editorial from the new Bureau of Labor Statistics number, Dan. If we had equivalence between the government union pay and private pay, we would cut about 40 percent of the entire budget deficit of the states and cities around the country. That is incredible to me. Well, first of all, the 45 percent, that's just a premium that state and local government bureaucrats get. Federal government bureaucrats are paid almost twice as much when you include all the fringe benefits compared to workers in the productive sector of the economy. And this is very bad not only for budgets, but academic research shows it's bad for economic growth because you distort the pay structure in an economy. Now, look, at, uh, there's, another, there's a sidebar story that something like 2,000 Hill staffers are making six-figure incomes. All right, I, you know what? I... Yeah, that sounds bad. I don't know whether that's really bad or not. I have no idea. Some of those kids only make $30,000 a year. To me, this is the big thing. This is the big thing. And mm -hmm. as we know, we are in dire straits. The public unions, Dan, they're bleeding us to death. Take a whack at that. That's my biggest concern. They're bleeding us to death. I'm not sure people understand this story. Well, first of all, as a former Hill staffer, let me just say that the real problem on the Hill isn't so much that their salaries are too high, although they're clearly out of whack with people in the real world, we have too many people on the Hill. Uh, but the unions are driving overall federal pay and state and local pay out of whack. It's why California and Illinois are going to become the Greece of America. All right, that's the key point. We could cut these deficits across the board. Dan, I'm sorry we didn't have much more time, but at least we got those numbers out.